Newman, who is never shy about letting his opinion be heard, claimed the AFL had no right to get involved in political messages and tell footy fans what to vote for. Before I start this, I know it's going to get hijacked, by, the predictable people who will say what it's not, he said. But if this was about the AFL putting us on the football about climate change, or save the whales, or greenhouse emissions or whatever, I would have exactly the same opinion. The very fact it's about the yes vote for gay marriage is irrelevant, so please don't hijack this into something it's not. But who in the hell are these people at the AFL who are telling the football public what they should do in their lives and who they should vote for in any political agenda, who are you? Who gives you the right to tell people and to put what people should do on the football? Newman broke out into a shout as he pulled out a copy of the same-sex marriage voting form. For God's sake, there's a plebiscite going on in the country. What right have you got to say what people should be doing? You are nothing more than obsequious, fawning, sycophantic political whores. You have no right to get involved in political messages. Let people go to the football and do what they want to do, just watch the game. The crowd gave a massive cheer in favor of Newman's rant, but the former Geelong star wasn't finished yet. Source supplied keep your contrived and conflicted snouts out of people's lives and let people do what they want to do, he said. It's a release to go to the football. All you're doing is virtue signaling and making yourself look grand when your overpaid executives make decisions on behalf of no one. Host Eddie Maguire butted in with a rebuttal to Newman's two-minute spray, taking his co-worker to task. OK, you've had a good go, Maguire said as Newman fumed. Now, let me put a counter to you. There's an old saying if you don't stand for something you stand for nothing. Dot what we have in our world at the moment, Sam, is a leadership vacuum with politicians who don't do anything unless there's a vote in it. We have media who are running agendas to get whatever they want. We've got churches have completely lost any credibility in what they stand for. But the AFL is an organization that people do look to. Maguire said he agreed with Newman's stance on the AFL pushing political agendas but said they had the right to express their opinion. If you put to the AFL, do you stand for discrimination? They'd put no up on the wall, Maguire said. Because the AFL stands by it's not what you are, it's who you are. Newman said the AFL had no business in the matter and said its only job was to run the game. But Eddie wasn't having a bar of it. If you're a 14 or 15 year old and you're gay, you can come to a football club and be a part of it, he said. It's just saying they are welcoming equality. Host Rebecca Madden tried diffusing the awkward exchange, but Newman butted in over the applauding crowd. Don't shut up, Ed, he said. It's nothing about gays, it's about political agendas and the AFL has no right to tell people what to do.